right now we've connected to the internet, set up the, the day and the time. Uh, you've set up the IAMS, AMS, DMS, which again, I can send you the instructions if you leave a comment down here, or send you an email to Bill that B I L K E Y at B E N Q dot com, preferably with the school or university email. So the next step will be to bind the panel. Um, so for that, what we do is we click here on this avatar, turn the AM uh, system on. It's going to ask for a password. It's going to be admin, A D M I N, as if you couldn't spell it. Um, and it's going to ask you to change it. I'm just going to leave it the same for myself for demos, but uh, you know you can change it to a password that uh, uh, only you would know. So A D M I N A D M I N A D M I N. Send it. Uh, so now you now this is what it look like. But as of now, it's not bound. Um, so I'm going to take the NFC card, which we had set up on the AIMS. We're going to hold it here. You hear the little sound. And now it's binding the panel. AMS successfully bound to the school district, which is my school district. Now you see my headshot there and my name, which means it's bound to me. If I go over here, if, I, if it was set up properly in IAMS, you can see the clip. So you can connect to the Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, a local network drive, Moodle, various places. So now if I click on this, I can go to a My Drive, a Shared Drive, or you could set up a Team Drive. So I'm going to go to My Drive. And the first time it may take a little while to retrieve the data. Uh, so this is the data that I have on my drive. Um, so for example, I can pull this up here. And this is a shootout I did of the Epson Brightlink versus our 65 or 70 inch panel at the time. Now the 75 inch panel is very competitive. You'll see it's the same size. You can see how much brighter the image is there and you're going to see how easy it is to set up. You don't have to have the finger touch piece to worry about. Um, so that's just how. So I can pull my files off of the cloud and the thing about the BenQ system is I can go to any classroom in the district and my data follows me. Some of our competitors have tried to copy us with NFC cards but they can only bind maybe three teachers to one panel. Whereas with us, you can go to any panel in the district, take your card, swipe it, and your data follows you. So let's say I forgot to swipe it, and that keeps your data secure, and it lets it follow you. Let's say I forgot to log out, and now the next teacher comes in. I've got this one set up as substitute, substitute teacher. Um, and that's because, uh, let's say maybe you have a sub that's coming in. Um, so now you see they have a separate wallpaper. There are apps that they prefer to use. The name has changed, and if there was a headshot, that headshot would go there. So that's that's how you set up the uh, bind the panel, and that's how the NFC cards work. Uh, the next thing you would do would be to load apps. Um, so there's a password that you would put into this panel, and I can send you the code if you again email me. But we don't want the teachers to have it necessarily because some districts don't want the teachers to be able to load apps. Now there's three ways to load apps. Uh, one would be to side load it. So for example, you could use a USB here after you did the trick with the remote. Or I could go to my Google Drive and I could load an app right from my Google Drive. So that's one way to do it. Um, let's just do that real quick for you. So I've got some on here, Classroom, or I've got uh, Google Chrome, for example. Uh, let's load Google Chrome. Because the built-in browser into this Android isn't, isn't great. Um, so Chrome is much better. We also have Firefox, which I'll show you how to load in a second. Um, so, so this is loading. Um, you can go to APK Pure, which you probably saw I had that app, but you can go out and find apps over the internet. Um, not all will work. Um, 
but a lot of them will. So you can get with me and our engineers and we can kind of tell you which ones we've tested and, and we know that work. Um, so now if I go over to here, you can see Google Chrome has now been loaded. So that's how you load the apps. And this window here is where all the apps are. Um, and then I'm going to talk about widgets in a second, but we have a Ben Keys Adjust Store here. And with that, that's the second way to load apps would be through the Ben Keys Adjust Store. So we have several apps here, Seesaw, Math Tutor, all these, as well as over here, we've got some. Blizz is a video conferencing software by TeamViewer. We also, you can load TeamViewer and with TeamViewer, you can support all your schools from your desk or home. Uh, you can log into their computer or into their device and help do settings or our tech support people can troubleshoot your issues as well remotely using TeamViewer. We also provide VMware Client, uh, which does the opposite. It'll send data instead of um, having someone outside come and see it. It'll send this data to your, your, through your network. Um, DMS Cloud app will let us control your panels, turn them on, off, switch sources. But the other thing it can do is you can send out an app to all panels or groups of panels, depending on how you set them up on the DMS. And that's the third way to send out apps. And the nice thing about ours is we, when we send out an app, we send it to the board and loads it to the board. Some of the other people that send out apps over their uh, device management system, um, send it out but you have to go to each board to load it uh, with ben q we can load it to each panel automatically and we can also remove apps from all the panels via dms as well so you can schedule on off switch sources that type of thing so let's just load firefox here which is obviously another browser and that'll show you the other way to load apps now, when you're doing DMS, you don't have to set up the panels to allow for unknown sources um, using that secret password. Um, so that's one of the nice things about it is your admin can just figure out what apps he wants everybody to have or by groups or by building, you know, maybe by grade level, that type of thing. Um, so now if I go home. So we do want to install Firefox. Install successful. I guess I was probably just a little impatient. I'm a type A personality, so now you can see Firefox is, is loaded onto there. So these widgets, what do these widgets do? Alright, so th those are again apps that we have. And widgets. Widgets can be anything from a clock to a message board. So this is the message board. So you can put up a, a message here. And let's see, here's our keyboard. I can make it bigger or smaller. So I'm gonna make it nice and big for you. Uh, let's go agenda. And now that now that'll show up there, and then I can say you know, whatever you want to talk about for the day. Um, AMS, DMS, X sign, for example, and that'll be there. And then that'll be up while you're teaching your class. Um, so that would be, that's the next section is how to bind the panel, how to load apps, what the, how, how the widgets are, what the widgets are. And let's say you don't want the CO2 widget on there, you can delete it. And let's say I don't want this clock, I can remove it. Now let's say, uh, you know what, I, there's a different clock I wanted. I just wanted this clock here, something like that. Uh, no, actually, I think I want the, let's see if there's an analog clock. Put that up there. And now I can pick whatever countries I want as well. So current city, we've got already. Let's see, I want to know uh, 
Oops. Let's say I'm. Uh, Taiwan or something like that. Let's see, these are in alphabetical. Right. So now, now we know the time in Taiwan, Central U.S., and Hawaii. Uh, so that's how the widgets work. And there's other widgets. Let's put this air quality sensor back up. You can do you can do you know browser files. Oh, there's another analog clock here. I kind of like this one. It's a digital clock uh, type of thing. So that's the widgets, and you can to add apps. Let's say I've got my apps here, and now I want uh, Easy Write on here. So I can add Easy Write to there to my preferred apps. And with my with my card, when I log out and go to the next classroom, everything's going to be set up the way it is here on my panel in the next classroom. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'm going to show our easy white whiteboarding software next, so that'll probably be the longest video, but I think it'll be the most helpful. Thank you.